Hey, this is Mark, and today we're going to be working on an iPad Mini 2. Uh, this one is not charging. Uh, came in with a note said it wasn't charging. I tested it with a USB amp meter, and it is pulling zero current, um, even with a known good battery. So this is almost certainly going to be TriStar. So we're just going to go ahead and replace that as the first troubleshooting step. So I'm just uh, kind of seeing if the chip will move when I touch it, but not grabbing it and ripping it off. And once I see that it can move, then I know I can go in and just snatch it right off of there and it's gonna be fine. A lot of beginners make the mistake of just holding onto that chip and like wanting it to come off as soon as it possibly can. Um, and that's a recipe for pulled pads, so don't do that. Um, and now I will play the Hako song for you while I change tips. The Hako song. I don't think JBC has a song. Maybe I should get some JBC stuff. Ha! <laughs> Just kidding. Sorry, Trent. Not getting JBC stuff. Although, maybe the hot air. Probably at some point I'll get the JBC hot air. That thing is a beast. That is a Cadillac of hot air. So I'm just uh, knocking the balls off these pads. I'm not worried about making them perfectly flat. Just make some nice puffy little pads. Just some happy puffy little pads. Make sure none of them are oxidized. That one's looking like it might be getting a little oxidized from overwork and not enough flux. Alright, I think that's gonna work. These guys are all good. Overworking the pads is probably the the biggest mistake you can make doing this kind of a job. Um, so, you know, the guys that use WIC, um, you know, you're running a big risk of exposing copper that you didn't intend to when you use the WIC. And if you're inexperienced, you also really run the risk of pulling pads with the WIC. So just best not to do it at this scale. You really don't need to. Oh boy, I should get the orientation right on that, shouldn't I? <laughs> That's what happens when I sit here talking and just get lost in thought. Alright. So that's lined up good enough. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just go in there with some hot air. Take the hot air away. Now that chip is not going anywhere. So I can come back in with the hot air and I know it's not going to blow away. And I just want to see, see it settle down. There it did. Okay. Still settling. And now it should be done settling. I'll give it a couple more seconds. And that's good. <clears throat> so this should be good to go now. Um, like my other iPhone TriStar video, because I've only got this one camera set up right now, um, you're just going to have to trust me when I tell you that it works. Um, but I'm going to let it cool down just a little bit more. It doesn't have to be completely cool to test it for this. Um, and we'll see if it works. And yep, there we go, pulling 0.93 amps, which is correct because that's an iPhone charger. Let me try the iPad charger.
Yeah, there we go. 1.88, 1.9, good to go. Uh, so this is solved. Um, thanks for watching.